with you all. Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So happy to see everybody. Welcome to the Fish Corner. If you're new to the channel, do something for me real quick. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Let you know every time I upload, and it costs this much. Absolutely nothing. Now, I'm standing in front of this 37-gallon aquarium, and we are going to go pick up this mantis shrimp. Now, this is thanks to Alejandro Sosa. Alex, man, good looking. We really appreciate you. We are going to go get that shrimp. I spent most of the morning making sure that this tank was ready for it. That's why it's looking a little cloudy. I did big water change, did a gravel vac, cleaned up the filter, and topped it off again. It's ready. That will clear up. That's not a problem at all. And so we already made the call to the shop. They said they have it. They're holding it for us. So let's get to the fish store. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So here we are. Splash of We're about to pick up that mantis shrimp. Let's take a little tour, a little look around real quick, see what they got. So if you haven't been to Splash Aquarium in Sacramento, California, you might want to check them out. Halloween, hermit crab, peppermint shrimp, these are the little ones. Got the mandarin, dragon net. Look at the price on it, 30 bucks. Not bad at all. Another one. You got a nice dragon. Uh, Rass right there. Got a blini, starry blini right here. So yeah, some options, some options. Polini grouper. One fifty. Detail grouper back there. 50 bucks. So, yeah. Big porcupine puffer. This one's 70 right here. So let's make our way to, excuse me. Let's make our way to, got some snails. Where is he at? There we go. All right, big mantis shrimp. We got a small one, and we got the big one. I need that big one. Yeah, I need that big one. What else we got in here? Starfish. Got the angler. I don't know what that is in there. But... This is what we're here for. But this is what we're here for right here. So we're going to grab this large mantis shrimp. And like I said, right on Alejandro, my boy Alex, I looked out for us. All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy. at it. Look at the colors. It's definitely a beautiful shrimp. A little small little dragon net right there. Six line grass. Got some hermit crabs over here. Got the little seahorse in the back. Bumblebee snails, starfish, a bunch of different corals down here as well, and then all of these saltwater fish over here. Fresh water is on that side.
<laughs> How you doing, man? Good, good. Yeah, I'm doing all right. All right, so we got him. A uh, mantis shrimp, yes, sir. Hi, right, Carter. Wanna, wanna uh, go ahead and open up the bag. I want to show him. Got the mantis shrimp, Carter. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, look at the tail. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll it's you. so cool. Yeah. Alright, don't want to punch in my hand. Yeah. There you go. There he is. Alright, Charles, so we are back at the house. We got the mantis shrimp, y'all. Look at that beautiful peacock oh, mantis go. shrimp. Oh, so we are going to acclimate him. I will probably put him inside of this container right here. Hopefully this goes, or I might put him in. Uh, I don't know what he do. He probably he probably does move around like the other shrimps or the lobsters. Like, you know, he used a net to grab them. Um, so I will probably I'd use a deeper one. Yeah, the deeper one. Yep. What was that? That was that was that, uh, Mister. You would know when you walk past him if oh, Mister yeah. was up top. That was Mister then. All right, get a better. You of them. We gonna call this guy Tyson. Tyson, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> With the knockouts. It would have been Tyson or Floyd Mayweather, but Tyson got the knockouts. I I like Tyson. Mike Tyson, right here. <laughs> yeah. I like Tyson. I've always liked that name. All right. So first thing I'll do is get some water in there. Matter of fact, get all the water. Are you doing a drip acclimation? I will. I want to make sure that he um, acclimates very well to this aquarium. I don't want to rush it. And um, this is the first time I've ever owned one. So I'm not quite sure what to expect. I just know that we want to make sure. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think he is. He made, word. yeah, he made some noise too. You he heard is? that bad? You wasn't hearing that noise he was okay, making? I did. I just that was him. That was him. He was yeah, yep, yeah, that's him. That's him. 
Okay, I will keep the net over. So there. yeah, I will put a net over this. Oh, here, I'll hold. I'll hold on. All right, all right. Let me. Uh, excuse me, guys. So that's why it's called the peacock. You know, peacocks are actually beautiful. Oh yeah. Remember Especially the males. Yeah, the males. Yeah, it is a male. Mm-hmm. The females aren't really that attractive. All right, so I will pour out some of this water. Be careful. Yeah. Pour out a little bit of this water. There we go. All right. Yeah, so now we could go ahead and acclimate them. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Let me see. Yeah, nice and golden. The other one, the other one was like more green. Why do you look like a scorpion? <laughs> I don't know, babe. Have to look it up. Why do they look like this? I have no <laughs> idea why they look like this. I just know that uh, we got blessed with this. Alejandro Thank you, Souza. Alejandro. Thank you, Alejandro. Man, do you go by Alex? Let me know. I had a I had a partner coming up. And his name was Alejandro, and he went by Alex. I rather, right. I've been saying Alex throughout the video off and on because I, I feel like that's where it goes to. Yeah, you never heard of that. Usually yeah. Alejandro, I don't go by Gro. Yeah, yeah, I never heard that, but yeah. So let me know. Let me know, Alejandro, if that's the case. I'll call you Alex, man. You no, know, we uh. Yeah, big shout out, man. Everybody say thank you to Alejandro Souza. Please make sure you drop that down in the comment section. He made this possible. He bought us this. That's what I mean when I say he made it possible. So you might notice that we got some other bags and some things over here. I went and picked up some stuff. I wasn't really going to show it to y'all, but you know what? Since they end the video, let me show them to y'all. I picked up a, a short, a short spine sea urchin. This is going to go inside of that 20 gallon. They are algae munchers. I picked up some more red line hermit crabs. I picked up some blue line hermit crabs. I picked up three cone head snails and three trophus snails, which are the big ones. The, what, the smaller ones are cone head. You'd think they're all cone head because they got the same type shell. Um, same shape shell, but, um, yeah, so, you know, they're going to really get in there and do what they supposed to do, which is help us with that algae Again, natural way of making sure you eradicate that algae. And I seen some comments today. I don't have to refer to them, but I will say this. I mentioned on lives and I mentioned on plenty of videos, how you get algae like that. I've mentioned the nutrients and I mentioned the light. Now I do not use tap water to top off my aquarium i think that's i think that's silly to use um use tap water to tap to top off a saltwater aquarium i would never do that i use rodi water i'm sure that mine can the feeding of the corals which is the nutrients and then also the lighting so i don't have the light on as much but um i definitely feed my corals and i feed them well so y'all know, I do have a skimmer, um, and I make sure I clean that often because, in fact, it needs to be cleaned again. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, yeah. So there's a multiple ways of of getting the algae, and I call it a new tank syndrome because a lot of new tanks have that happen. It's the first time that's happened to me, but I just wanted to show y'all that. Let you know you don't panic. You don't have to panic. Your corals will still do fine. Your your fish will still do fine. So I wanted to show that in the video. So I hope that I was able to, to depict that message. It's not a guarantee that that will happen with all new saltwater aquariums. But just understand if it does happen, you know, the Fish Corner Cleveland, we looked out for you. We showed you a way. We're showing you a way of dealing with it so you don't have to stress out. And uh, that was the reason for the video. And it's called new tank syndrome because it happens to a lot of new tanks. So, you know, you'll see people in the comments dropping their input. You 
know, there's nothing wrong with them dropping your input, but you know, I, like I said, I'm the one that's showing you exactly how to deal with this if it does happen. I showed y'all how to start your very first saltwater aquarium. I got a bunch of y'all in the saltwater hobby. You know, so when I when I go through things, I share it with y'all. That's what I do. But um, yeah, so we're going to do a little drip acclimation on this guy. And as you see, I didn't take out the sea urchin. That's because he, he's a little pokey, a little sharp, right? So uh, matter of fact, yeah, let's go ahead and put him in there. Um, he has to go in there too. Yeah, well, I want to. I do want to acclimate them a little bit. I want to. Oh, so they're not shocked. Exactly. Oh, they're so cute. Which one? The one with the little orange and the blue the red, leg. The red I think leg. he's a blue leg. Red leg and blue leg. Yeah. Oh, it looks like orange tips. Yeah. Oh. So I got different size hermit crabs, and the reason being is so they could get into the little areas yep. exactly babe babe's on point she knows exactly the reason why we did this yep. and one of the ways to prevent that is probably at the cleanup crew before you even add in all the corals but it doesn't matter there's multiple ways of doing this i can't wait to see that i don't think i've ever seen that in person yeah this is gonna be my first ever sea urchin oh, get in there get in there what do they first, eat i just told you the oh, algae oh the babe. algae duh well, he gonna have a feast in there. Mm hmm Are you upside down? You look like you're upside down. Okay, there we go. Nope, you weren't. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, y'all, so we got a couple of, we got some animals to acclimate. Once I'm done acclimating them, we'll be back. We'll be introducing the peacock, mantis shrimp into this 37 gallon aquarium. And don't worry, y'all, y'all. Uh, sometimes you'd be concerned about whether or not you put um, a mantis shrimp inside of a glass aquarium. Maybe if it was like a five gallon or something with some thin glass, it's pretty thick. It's pretty thick. He's not going to be able to just punch it and crack it. But there's going to be somebody in the comments. They, they punch it's like the strength of a, of a 22 bullet. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll see y'all in about 20, 30 minutes. All right, y'all. So it has been about. 30 minutes, water doubled in volume. Our mantis shrimp is looking like he's ready to get inside of this tank right here. And we are ready to see him inside this tank right here. So without any further ado, let's remove this little drip. This little drip tube right here. This is how I do a drip acclimation. If you haven't seen this done, it's very simple. Put one side in the tank. Go ahead and suck on this side a little bit until the water come out. Make sure as soon as the water get over the edge of the tank, you take it out your mouth so you don't get none inside your mouth. Done deal. That's it. Pretty, pretty simple. Very easy, y'all. Very easy. All right. Now, it is just him going in here so I can. Under these circumstances, I wouldn't. add the water, don't add the water. You think it's easier to just spill them? I think I'm about to just do it like that, only because I feel like it may be easier. So, just like this, turn it sideways. Oh, so he can get out, okay. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, Tyson. Come on. Water, now he's definitely fully acclimated. Here we go, come on. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> come on. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Look at him. It's looking blurry, babe. Come on. He's looking around. Just trying to fill it out. There we go. Look at you. There we go. That's the best way to do it. Man. There we go, right into where I thought he would go. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So we got the mantis shrimp now in this 37 gallon. We're going to run a montage for you while he's making appearances.
All right, y'all, so we are finally at the end of this video. We're going to see if this mantis shrimp will eat this half shell clam. Hopefully, he's hungry enough to do so. It's dropping right in front of him. So we'll see. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. He looked interesting. We are certainly going to um, get some other clams and uh, different things to see what he'll like. Oh, there we go. Came and grabbed that. Look at him. That's so cool. Yeah. So, of course, I had to ask the owner of the store. So, of course, I had to ask what does he like to eat? And from what I gather, from what I gather, he eats half shell clams. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, Papa. Half shell clams, snails, all that good stuff. So as you can see, just got him. He's eating. So one last time, thank you very much, Alejandro. We really appreciate your um, support of the channel, and we went and got this mantis shrimp. So you're right, babe. He definitely was hungry. Mm -hmm. When I went like this, he came straight towards my finger. Okay, okay. Yeah, eating already. Look at Tyson. That means he's really comfortable All right, y'all, so let's right? go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, y'all, so we had an amazing Easter. We were treated to this amazing mantis shrimp by, again, Alejandro Souza. Make sure that you show that support to him as well. Say thank you, Alejandro. Drop them, honey. Drop them honey signs. This was a big West Coast W right here, y'all. Big West Coast W. Um, I hope that you were inspired by something. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that you learned something. Hope that you were entertained by something. Um, make sure, if you're new to the channel, you do something for me. Hit that big subscribe button down below and that big notification bell. Like I said, it costs this much. Absolutely nothing. And uh, everybody, if y'all like the video, like the damn video. Peace.